What did you do this Valentine's? Let me guess. You bought flowers, wine, went for dinner and bought some chocolate. Thanks to your beloved brands. I also bet you sent an emoji or two. Cool, you made your point. But how much time did it take to make that decision and what inspired you? Being a brand whose business is communication, we imagine there were no chocolates, romantic dinners or bouquets of flowers. We wanted people to focus on the content of the message versus the delivery, which is anywhere between a box of chocolates and a love heart emoji. The only thing that is left is a personally crafted message from the heart. Take the Time was born. There are times in life when one has to reflect on their relationship. I'm at that point wondering, is there a true measure of the expression of love? If so, what is it? So I'm taking the time to find it. And as I do, I'm rediscovering the Kenyan expression of affection. An invitation to our subscribers to reflect and take the time to express their love with meaning. To help them with this challenge, we inspired them with stories of love from decades past when we had to take the time. Then we gave the opportunity to craft a message that required one to design, write and package it on our platform. After successfully creating your message of love, you would use Facebook and Twitter to get the message across. Did Kenyans take the time? In one week, 25,000 lovers were inspired by our video. Over 347,000 hearts were reached, despite the noise of the season that they were getting from other brands. We got 4,000 plus new fans on Facebook. And 310 people took the time to share their love. Not through SMSs, emojis or abbreviations, but through personally crafted messages of affection. We proved that in a world of rapid and instant communication, what really matters is a heartfelt sentiment.